I guess uh, we had a first scrimmage, preseason game number one, Tiger Stadium. Outstanding day, a lot of hard work. Uh, our guys had a lot of enthusiasm. There was a lot of preparation for the day. I thought our coaches did a tremendous job getting our guys ready. We mainly practiced first, second, third down the red zone. Uh, that was the emphasis of the day. It's the first day we tackled. We didn't tackle that much, but uh, we had some live scrimmaging. I thought our defense tackled very well. We put a lot of pressure on the quarterback. Uh, our quarterback stats were uh, Max was 11 to 19 for 127 yards, one TD. Garrett was 11 to 17 for 225 and three TDs. Uh, Garrett made some big plays out there, scrambling around, made some big plays. Our young freshman made some big catches, uh, and I uh, thought that uh, it was a, overall it was a great scrimmage, most, mostly dominated by the defense and the uh, and the quickness of the defensive line. We had Ali Gay back. Uh, Joe Evans had a good day. Andre Anthony had a good day. Neil Farrell had a good day. Our guys ran around and played well. I got to um, give Corey uh, Raymond, maybe the coach of the day, only had two corners out, and uh, put a couple of other guys at corner. And uh, we didn't blink. Uh, those guys played very well. We gave up very few big plays uh, with the first team. I thought overall it was a great scrimmage. Uh, we got a lot of things to do. We still got a week left. Uh, short yardage goal line, all those things are going in. Two minute, another week of camp. Uh, but we need to make a big improvement, especially in the area of protection. Any questions? No, I just think that the play of the defensive line, having uh, you know, today was Ali's first day back, all the way going full full speed. You know, Andre had been hurt a little bit, but those guys were really cranking it up. And again, there was a lot of third down passing situations where they could pin their ears back. I thought those guys did a tremendous job of pass rush today. Hey, Coach O. Garland, Dylan Fox State, New Orleans. Uh, I know Kayshawn's probably your number one option receiver. Is any of these other guys kind of showing out to be the number two, number three guys? Anybody separating themselves? No, not you know, not yet. I mean, but, but they're talented, you know. And, and we're going to have to go some four and five wise and let those guys play and and rotate them in and out. And, and you know, John Stray Kirk, hey, Francione had four catches. Uh, Butte had five. Jare had two. Brian Thomas had five catches. Uh, you know, all those guys are very talented. We got to let them all play and see what's going to happen. But I do think as the year goes on, we're going to see who the second guy is, the third guy is. I think that's going to work itself out. Hey, Ed, what's now getting from the FD? You mentioned the, those cornerbacks. Can you say any more about like, how you, who, who you all had to move over there or try it out over there? You know, Lloyd, Lloyd and Darren played. Lloyd Cole and Darren played most of the, most of the time. Then we had two young guys. That played uh, two guys that walked on and played, but Lloyd and Darren played most of the day today, and uh, got to commend them. They they did very well. You know, I don't, and I said that prematurely, and we thought Derek was going to come back, but I think that we're going to have to give him a little bit more time. Uh, Eli Ricks is. Um, Perhaps going to come back in some capacity next week. I think it's going to take Derek, and this is more a precautionary measure. We don't want to bring him out there when he's not full speed. It may take more than a week, but whatever it is, he's going to be fine. It's just that uh, we, we want to make sure when he comes back that he doesn't re injure. Yeah, yeah, Ron, and Greg. Uh, I know you haven't hit that much yet. Are you worried that you've had a a large amount of injuries, a lot of nits and stuff, without even having to hit. Yeah. Are you a little bit concerned about that? That is a concern. I talked I talk to the, I talked to Bo about it today. I think a lot of it is just the running, you know, all the running. And the guys, although they're not hitting, Ron, they're going full speed, they're working hard. And I think it is, these are all just little camp injuries that, that's going to get healed. Uh, nothing's major. And, you know, somebody like Glenn, Glenn, Glenn broke a foot doing a drill. You know, so and just just bending his foot. So some of these things uh, uh, you can't prevent. Some of them are football injuries, but yes, you're right. But the little amount of hitting that we have done, it's an unusual uh, large amount of injuries. One more thing on, on your running backs. How did they play today? Do you have any stats of what they did? Uh, I don't have any stats. I thought John ran the ball. John ran the ball well. Corey Connor made a tremendous play. Made two or three people miss. Jumped over a defender. The same type of stuff we saw in high school. Armani Goodwin made some good plays, got in the backfield. I mean, got in the defensive backfield, made some plays. Both of those guys are tremendous players. 
Obviously, Tyron didn't get much uh, carries. Uh, Josh Williams got a couple carries. But mainly, it was uh, John and the two freshmen. Hey, Coach, um, obviously, Garrett Nussmeyer is important since you know, going up more than you expected, I guess. Um, how is he improving from the spring game in terms of, you know, he had a lot of interceptions in yeah. the spring game. How is he coming along? And what are you investing in him in the next you know, few weeks? To get yeah. Well, you know, the, um, his pocket presses. He settled down a little bit. Uh, he's not being careless with the football. The guy's a gunslinger. I mean, he can throw the ball. It seems like he can throw the ball down the field from his hip at any position. He made a play again today. But uh, he's been more careful in what he's doing. Uh, and obviously, you know, he knows now. That he's, he's right there in the position, you know, no, no telling. I mean, he could be playing at any time. And uh, so I think he's more conscientious. He did, he did a good job this summer of, of learning the offense. He's more patient with the football. Jake has done a good job with him. Coach, uh, what, what's some things that, that stand out over the first couple of weeks of, of practice? Individually, you mentioned Brian Thomas. You, yeah. you mentioned Meyer and maybe some other guys. And, and team-wise, yeah, team chemistry, team bonding, coaching staff bonding. Uh, the atmosphere around here has been great. Uh, great leadership, communication. Uh, guys come to work. Uh, there's some enthusiasm in the office. Uh, you know, we have some young uh, coordinators that have never called games before, so they're energetic. They want to prove themselves. I think that there's a good mix among the staff. Uh, Brian Thomas is a big receiver with good moves, uh, big, strong hands. Uh, he's hard to cover one on one, especially in the red zone. You can go up and get it. Uh, he's good with yards after the catch with the football, and um, I think he's going to be a. I think he's going to be one of the great receivers that we've had here at, at LSU. Hey, Coach Joe Garland again here. Um, did the linebacking crew? Did any of those guys kind of separate themselves? Because I know you said we might see all five mm -hmm. of those guys playing Week One against UCLA. Did any of them kind of separate themselves? You know, in that group? you know, we talked about that today, and. Uh, Damon Clark, Michael Backfield is doing very good. Bugs is doing very well. Jerry Small is all over the place. Uh, those four guys are showing out, and uh, and they're going to be considered starters. And uh, hopefully we can play all for them. Hey, Coach, this is uh, Josh Taylor with uh, Louisiana Brown Football. Uh, with Miles being out um, uh, for the foreseeable future with injury and everything, um, are you guys learning the number of uh, run plays for Max? Yeah. Uh, and possibly that the, the offense, uh, as far as the RPO and everything. Yeah. Uh, and uh, or is the uh, the offense coming along with? Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, being full throttle, as it were. Well, the RPOs are, are there. We are we gonna throw the RPOs, and uh, the RPOs are very. And that, uh, RPO doesn't mean that the quarterback is gonna run the ball. You know, either give it to the running back or or throw it. All depends on what the safety is, disposition, and all that stuff. So th that's there. But as far as just true quarterback runs to run them, no, we're not going to do that. And now, again, I said it the other day, we ran the quarterback draw with, with Joe. We let him extend plays with his feet. We, we had some movement with him. Uh, those things, some normal things that you have to do to win the game. But as far as down in, down out, having a true quarterback run uh, offense, no, we don't have that. How do you want to see that really improve here the next week? Well, one number one, one on ones, uh, the techniques that we're using. Uh, we're going to go upstairs and watch them. Uh, Brad's done a tremendous job. He's only had the guys for you know a limited amount of time. We got to make sure that they understand what we're teaching. Uh, we got a veteran offensive line, so uh, those guys should be able to protect. We got a young, lot of young guys that got thrown in the fire today. That sometimes they did well, sometimes they didn't. But there was way too many, way too much pressure on the quarterback. So we're going to watch the film and fix it. And, and you know, those things that uh, that hurt us today, we're going to work on all week next week and all week in camp. And uh, Mike Jones was pretty honest with us the other day. He just got some things that he's just kind of need to work on. It's like maybe not struggling with a little. I guess just what's your read as coach about where he's kind of at right now? Yeah, I thought he's done a good job. No, and, and, he, and he's, uh, he's, he's got a great attitude. And he knows. Right? You're playing nickel out there. You're playing on a slot. And all of a sudden, you're taking on – um, Anthony Bradford weighs 355 pounds. That's a different world, you know. It's just, but you know, the kid diagnosed the physicality. He has no problem with that. He's a great young man. He loves being a Tiger. I think he's going to be a good player for us. Last one, Ron. 
Yeah, Ed, I, I guess, I mean, compared to the chaos of last year, going to the last year's chaos at the start of the season, is it just a, a, a much more feeling of, of being settled and, and, and knowing what you've got and where you're going with it than last year? I mean, no. Going into the season because it was delayed and it was just yeah. crazy all season. I mean, uh, is it the atmosphere that's totally different? Totally different. Sense of normalcy, leadership, you know, 18 or 22 starters coming back. You know, guys came back. They made a decision to come back. Uh, we got a great freshman class, a great class, uh, coaches that are hungry. I think it's, it's completely different than the atmosphere last year. There was a lot of outside influences that caused negativity with, you know, and there's some stuff that we couldn't control. So I think none of that stuff has happened now. Uh, COVID seems to be for us. Uh, we have our, we still have our standards which we need to follow, but you know it's not it's not that we we thinking that are we going to play and not going to play. We feeling like we're going to play. We feeling like the stands are going to be full. So we're excited about that. Thank you, guys. Go Tigers.